Hello and welcome. I am the Restless Kaiser. And I'm Johnny B. Together we are Modeling for Advantage. Advantage. So what we got today, John? Uh, today, nice simple one. We're going to unbox one. something that you purchased relatively recently, which is a Space Marine Sergeant Jovan. Sergeant Jovan. If the beautiful people at home wanted to get hold of a Sergeant Jovan, they went down to the now rebranded Warhammer shop. Yes. Would they get one? Um, well, not straight out. It needs to be specific circumstance. I.e. store anniversary is what it is, because it says it store right there. Oh, on the yes. box. It just said out of the box. It's a so store you, anniversary. You're going to get this on the store birthday. Yes. And so uh, we sent uh, someone you know down to the local Warhammer store Thank on the birthday yeah, yeah. to get one of these he for us. There. And uh, he didn't come back with one. No, we didn't. And we <laughs> were you don't actually get we were, it. We were quite confused. But apparently, you go into store with these and you can order one. That's that's the thing. You order get to it. go and order uh, a birthday miniature, a store anniversary miniature from from them. There you go. But order it. He got it. Bless him. Mm -hmm. And it came through. And now we have it. And we're gonna we're gonna open it. I've already taken the wrap off because you know don't want to see me thing, fumbling you know, around on that. Like, like a budgie with a cuttlefish. John I needs something to gnaw on in something the afternoon. To gnaw on. So we're just gonna. I look, see what we get in the box. Crack Just set the box while John does that and get some beautiful you things got a thing out. In there. I, I got, there's a bit of paper there. Look, okay. look at that. Um, I, I, if you're going to get like an anniversary, because this was what twenty quid. Twenty this wasn't quid, cheap. Yeah, twenty pounds. And you can't buy it from a third party. But I do like the nice little features and the little tongue on the cardboard. No, it's, it? got it's got a little quiller, quiller on it. Look, it's not I like bad, that. Isn't it? I like. I mean, don't get me wrong. That doesn't make it worth twenty quid. No, and it's still going to go in the bin, right? But uh, totally, yeah. <laughs> Sweet. Totally in the bin, mate. That's the box. It's going to make this guy. That's the box. So we're going to do the like having a look at the bits thing, just so you know. But John is actually going to take this away and build it. But we'll talk about it as we go. Am I? Yeah. <laughs> totally. yeah I'm going to go do yeah. that. Um, what do you want to start with? Let's have a look. The, at the contents components. of the box. Yeah. You get two. You get two bases. Two um, bases. Thirty-two ones of forty. I'm guessing the bigger one is to if you want to make it decorative, or maybe glue them together and make him higher, like some sort of plinth. Some uh, sort of plinth. Yeah. You get the smallest amount of. Space Marine, Ultramarine, more to the point. You get Ultramarine's transfers in there. Tiny decal sheet. Hurrah. Yeah. And then a single sprue. In a, in, a, in a presentation tray. A free dice tray. And then you get the little booklet there. The little booklet, just to show you just quickly, look, it's got the instructions as you would expect to find. It's also got the stats in many, many different languages. Now there was something on here, I seem to remember. What did you it find? said in here, they changed the way it's worded and it says that the intercessor sergeant can be equipped with hand flamer master crafted also really? bolt rifle so this this model apparently the sergeant in the intercessor squad on this sheet can take master crafted bolt weapons and can have a hand flamer on a sergeant on a sergeant because this, this is interesting isn't it so this ain't no lightning this ain't no lightning sir and he ain't got a hand flamer no either. he doesn't but what, so there you go what he does have on this wonderful sprue yeah. is having a look at a still no doubt john has yes, got a beautiful picture for I'll you do that on my chinese spy phone it's um, not a lot of sprue for 20 quid is it for 20 quid no it's standard but to be fair 20 quid I mean, that's what it costs for characters that's what it costs for a character yeah. um so you got a dude resting his his foot on an orc yeah, he's got his he's got his helmet in his hand, which I quite like. Yeah, in fact, I'll go as far to say that actually looks quite natural the yes. way that he's holding his helmet, opposed yes. to some of the other ones. A lot of the dynamic poses they feel a bit too much like the stop motion camera. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Whereas this looks like a fairly rested. I'd say pose. that's possibly my favourite part. Like of that. Um, so he's got that. He's, he's decided to whack his chainsaw in the poor old's head. Yes. So that's good. Is that standalone completely from the model? The chainsaw like on that sprue looks, and that's interesting, isn't it? That's completely that's standalone. Separate. I mean, you got half an orc head, so I'm guessing. That yeah. Which is what's going to keep it upright. But you can. Yeah, you could take that off though. You can you you put another weapon in there. You could do anything you like. And actually, from a modelling perspective, I might do that for some of my intercessor sergeants. You know, like power swords and stuff. No, but because there's only like the one one-handed rifle option. Right. So, so you, the idea of just having a power sword buried by his foot or something might just it, might work. Wizzy wig got the weapon. Wizzy wig got it, mate. Just yeah, one base stick with it on the base. Thunder hammer sticking out. Know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, so that's that's that guy. Um, favorite part on the sprue, then, John. I, I'm quite reckon? liking the fact. I, I mean, it's pretty sad, really, but the, the old the old helmet under the arm is pretty good. Yeah. Um, one thing to note also: the separate pauldrons, mate. Separate pauldrons, which That's, is important to me. That is key. Because I'm going to wolf him up. Big time. Because you I've, use, use the um, bossed 
Yeah, the the like uh, the ones where the wolf heads are in relief. That's going to make. And the decals can also look nice. I'm not a big fan of decal in terms of my skill of application. Mm. So I went for the sculpted one. So oh, you, well, you've not even had a look at it yet. But yeah, well, I, I, yeah, I'm going to quick peek. So favorite favorite bit then probably got to say. <laughs> It's not separate pauldrons. I do oh, like the pauldrons as well. The separate pauldrons because it's such an important thing for a character figure for me. And often with these dynamic poses, mm. the shoulder pads are part Generally. of the of yeah. the arm oh, in the way that they, it's molded. They split it halfway down the pauldron or something yeah. like that on some yeah. miniatures and they Absolutely. Put it together. Whereas this you can put any chapter. But also these pauldrons have got like a bit of battle damage on them. Have they? Yeah, they're not they're not smooth, look. Oh yeah. So they'd be they'd be nice to use on, on the opposite models. shoulder or on the models yeah um sweet that now the, the bit i don't like right there's a bit you don't like but i don't like he's got the um the you know oh come on the everyone dish needs cloth in oh groin dish cloth. everyone needs a groin cloth no way mate uh, if it was hairy for my space wolves maybe <laughs> so considering how uh multi-part this actually is to a degree yeah. obviously it's static pose but you can give it chapter specific pauldrons that's the only thing that really sort of denotes it and puts it into the field of like an ultramarine, an ultramarine or a, a yeah. black templars but yes. i reckon i reckon i could snip that off you know you reckon you can get that off fairly clean, clean and, and stick a hero belt over the top yeah that's easy peasy so that's a look at the model john's gonna take us, we may be dressed differently the next time you see us it's quite possible this might take him six months <laughs> it might take him a week <laughs> who knows nobody not take even it me. away build it probably not going to wait until we've painted it to show you mm -mm. but we're going to show you a build model i think it's important yeah okay all right see you shortly thanks for watching by the power of hollywood and the magic of television we're back Amazing. So, uh, truly, we just nipped out, got undressed yeah. together, obviously. Yeah. yeah. Came back. Just, just to mix it up a bit. Mix it up a bit. <laughs> so you went away and you built your van. I did. I so you don't need the box van. anymore, right? No, but it's just to let you know. Whoop. The camera, <laughs> camera might shine a bit there. And plan that. Oh, that's you good. built the bad boy. Oh, oh, oh. There he is. Not fully. Uh, but yeah, he's not he's fully not, well, in the sense that he's not attached to his base yet um, because you're going to have a potential little plan. Yeah, with that absolutely. Itself, so it is it is tough trying to get Jovan with the orc onto the base. Yes. Which is a bit but annoying. You've, you've had a look at some of the scenic bases, haven't you? That you yes. have sitting around in your collection. Yes. And there's a possibility Jovan. Some of the, some of the scenic ones. Yeah. On that. I'm actually even tempted to take this bit and magnetize it. Could do. Other people could have a dead orc on there. I love. My, but he's got my a, it's got a stuff. hole in it. There's a problem, isn't it? Where his foot yeah. goes. Yeah. Which is a bit of a shame. So there's a there's a complete model. Yeah. What did you do to this model to make him a bit more wolfy Mate. and to meet my exacting requirements? Well, I didn't meet your exacting requirements because he still has his loincloth flowing tabard thing. Which he does. I did notice that under inspection when I was putting them together. If you if you cut that away. There's nothing not, behind it. He's not it. got much behind there, you know. So. Uh, it, now we know what Scott's so, got under his kilt, yeah, apparently. Not a lot. A big hole. Um, <laughs> so I couldn't do that. So if I he was in by GW. Yeah. But I mean, look, there's not a lot that has been done to this because there's not a lot you can really do with it. No. You've kept the pose. I'm probably going to have to paint that yellow, you know. What? To, be, the, to look space wolfy. Yeah. You could do a cream and put a rune or two on there from, you a, reckon? from a decal. Decal. Yeah. Decal. I'll have to have a bit of a Just to mix that. that up a bit. Yeah. Okay. But you've so, just got. A few little bits on there. So you've added a few accessories. Um, you've got, you wanted the wolf pauldron on there. With wolf the pauldron. Wolf. And that is the really Primaris easy. upgrade one from their sergeants. Yeah. I'm pretty sure I recognise so that. That's good. You wanted that yeah. one. Uh, second shoulder pad is just a standard wolf pelt one. So I'm now using pack markings yes. on my um, Primaris Marines where they'll take them, which come from the wolf pack, tactical Marines, mm. Space Wolf kit. With this model, and with a few of them where I think I might want to use this in different units, I've used the one that's covered over with fur. So it could so be for anyone. It could be any pack marking, absolutely. So I just have the line troops having the, that. So you put that, you put the shoulder shoulder pads on the pauldrons, yeah, yeah? Your choice there. You've given, you've given him something a bit more space wolf in front of that helmet. Uh, yeah, I thought if we can put a little totem on there, so one of the little... Yeah. Uh, I think it's intended to be a collar. It is. A, yeah, a necklace for the... Collar, I thought it would just detract slightly away from the yes. tabardy thing. Yeah. Um, and it's just, yeah, as you say, it's meant to be for the collar. 
because yeah. I've seen a couple of your Marines with that on. Yeah. It's just a little rune. Because I have to do it from the instructions, you see. That's why I get you to do all the kit matches. <laughs> yeah. yeah, just a little rune and a tooth hanging down there. Yeah. Um, that was it. I was really wondering if I, I wanted to change this, whatever this is, glow stick. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Some kind of space thought, why, charm, why isn't is it? He, yeah, why is he holding this glow stick over the orc? But I think it's part of that kind of casual pose, isn't it? I mean, I don't know about you, but my keys and my key ring when I'm walking down the street or whatever, I'm often playing oh. with the key ring. He's just got a totem on a ring and he's just a casual pose. He's you just dicking around with it. Done, giving him a big fat stogie. <laughs> should have given him a big, big Hannibal fat from 18. Cuban, yeah. Yeah. Oh, I missed the trick there. You missed the trick um, there. But the, but, the, but the other thing was then with this guy was... What is Primaris? It's Primaris, but this model does not have a rifle. He has a pistol and what could be a couple of grenades. Yeah, That's and I'm sorry, as much as it may say in the, in, the, in the sheet, you can give up your rifle and take it, or you can just take the weapon as well. Who's gonna do that? Who, who well, it's because of the way the models are, isn't it? But actually on the Primaris Intercessor Sprue, there's one that's slung on a shoulder. It's attached to the pauldron, isn't it? It's it's With the straps. arm where it's got a, a heavy bolt pistol and it's yeah, it's just slung, it's hanging there on the side. Yes. But oh is it the arm it's attached to rather than the pauldron? Yes. Yeah, right. But you just snipped that off? I just cut it where I could. And tucked it in under the pauldron ish. And onto the belt? And onto the belt. I so mean it looks it's like not it's attached. perfect guys. Uh, it's very it's difficult not. to make that fit. But it looks But it, it's not just like ramming yeah. behind his his head it's and his backpack, which is just the opposite. Leg or, yeah. on a or anything like that. It looks as if it could be yeah. hanging there. And I asked you to do a stalker bolt rifle because they just got a lot better. They did, didn't they? And if the guy's not taking a proper melee weapon, he's just got a chainsaw, he's probably in the rear with the gear. Was my thinking. Well, why not? So that was the Joe Van Space Wolf kit bash yeah. that John did for me. Pretty easy um, stuff. I'm going to get this bad boy painted up and in my squad, along with the other intercessors. I'm looking um, forward to seeing uh, a couple of these bad boys on the table. I'm going to see them on the table. Yeah, well, I've done a 40k video. So what we did me. forget? What did we forget? We didn't use Joe Van's head. We didn't use Joe Van's head. But no, because he, he looked like an ultramarine, didn't he? Yeah, too much. So he's a bit of a. There's a wolf head. He looks all right. Space he's looking in the right direction. He's got a bar and a kind now, though. Yeah. Mate, looking at you. Jumps All right, in. that was us, Sergeant Jovan. Thank you. Report for, for duty. Carry on, soldier. How are you looking, Johnny B? You're looking all right, mate. Looking all right. Beard's a bit. Please remember to like, comment, share, or subscribe this video. And if you are buying new games or new miniatures, please consider following our affiliate link to Wayland Games. It gives us a little bit of kickback and helps fund other projects for the channel. Thank you for watching. Uh, do you want to loosen the plastic on that? We've done this kind of thing a couple of times, haven't we? Loosen the plastic, he says. Just the draw, or is it the draw on the channel up there?